with Intermountain Healthcare. Welcome back to Good Things Utah. This is a distinction our state doesn't want. The highest rate of melanoma in the nation. In fact, it's more than double other states. Dr. Tanya Bowles, she's an oncology surgeon from Intermountain Healthcare, is here to show us how to take steps to prevent skin cancer. I don't think I knew that we were the tippy top when it comes to melanoma. Right, and a lot of people don't. We don't realize, we, we get used to our environment and we have an active outdoor environment in Utah. We get used to being outdoors, but we don't realize there's some risk to that as well. So why Utah versus like a San Diego who also has an outdoor environment? Right, it's really three things. We have a lot of Utahns that have fair skin and blue or green eyes. That right there puts you at higher risk for skin cancer. You said you, you put, yes. I mean, we You're were talking and she said, this is what so many people in our state look like yes. and I'm at risk. You're at risk and we're at higher elevation than San Diego and Utahns live outdoors year round. We ski, we're out in the summer and spring and so we get a year round exposure to the sun at high elevation. Summit County, if you're watching, by the way, your rate is higher than the rest of the state. Right, right. And again, it's that ele elevation, a lot of outdoors activities, and just raising this awareness that Utahns are at high risk for skin cancer. Does age impact if you get melanoma? It does. Most people who get melanoma are above the age of 50. However, we see every week in our clinics young people in the 25 to 45 year age range when we think we're healthy, we don't see doctors a lot, we see melanoma in that age group as well from tanning bed use and sunburns in youth. So you and I were saying there's this thing that's still out there that there's a color of health. Right. And you have to be this color and you said it's time to debunk that. Right. You know, we used to think you, you really showed you went on a great vacation if you came back with a sunburn or a tan or you could show you went skiing by having a sunburn on your cheeks. We need to get rid of that idea of health. I mean, real health and real healthy skin is the natural color of your skin. Whether that's a darker tone or a lighter tone, loving the skin you're in is the new message we need to get across. What about genetics? Do those play a role when it comes to developing melanoma? It does, but it's less of a, a role than people think. Mm. Most melanomas are sun related. Now where genetics does play a role is your skin type. You can't choose what your skin type right. was that you were born with. And fair skinned people do have a higher risk of skin cancer. Melanoma in children thankfully is very rare, but children who get melanoma, that's usually a genetically driven melanoma, not sun related. You and I were just talking, there's video making the rounds on social media of someone that had it on the bottom of their foot. Right. When you check for it, should you check even spots that don't see the sun? Yes, and we do that in the clinics. We always look at the feet for that reason. But again, that's a rare type of melanoma. Most melanoma occurs in parts of the skin that have been exposed to sun. Dr. Bowles, we're looking at the A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma. What should our viewers make sure they notice? Well, I want you to see how ugly those pictures look. Those are all ugly ducklings. You see those and you say, I could recognize melanoma. And that is a point I want to get across. You can recognize melanoma. Most melanomas are really dark colored, even black, like someone had made a Sharpie mark hmm. on the skin or on that woman's ear on the right. That is an ugly growing spot. So most melanomas look like these, these ugly pictures right. and they jump out to the eye. And the shape is different. Yeah, the shape right? is different. So the A, B, C, D, E's, we do look at two di different colors in the lesions or, or the spots, irregular borders. But the probably the most important of the A, B, C, D, E's is E. That means evolving or changing. Mm. So even if you have a spot on your skin that you think you've had since you were a child, if that spot is changing over time, getting darker, getting bigger, getting funnier borders to it, that needs to be looked at. So look at your skin, go in for checks, what else can we do to prevent melanoma? Sunscreen, covering up, and wearing a hat in the summer. Those really work. Um, sunscreen has to be an SPF of 30. It doesn't okay. have to be SPF of 100. Whether it's 30 or 100, the sunscreen needs to be reapplied every couple hours. So SPF 30, of reapplying frequently and wearing a hat and covering skin when you can matters. I wish you were on our vacation to Mexico. <laughs> I, I needed to take you for my two daughters that said, I'm in the pool, it's, I'm sure it's fine, it's cool. Right. So that's when you're getting burned right. the and, very most. In these last few weekends, we finally have nice weather in Utah. Mm -hmm. You're seeing people get sunburn on the shoulders and their necks. They're not thinking about it yet. It still feels pretty nice and a bit cool out. The sun is out 
time to go and get the sunscreen. Sunscreen does expire. If you've had it around a few oh, years or tip. it's runny, you need to buy Take new sunscreen. Take a peek at it. Yeah. We also want to mention, everybody, there's the Steps Against Melanoma Walk that is coming up. It's on May 11th. We walk to end melanoma. Put your sunscreen on because the sun will be out that day. This That's is right. for everybody. Yes, it to is raise for awareness. everybody. Yes. It's an easy walk. It's a fun run walk. It's to raise awareness. You can show up the day of. You can register early on the website show in there is to raise awareness about how common skin cancer is in our state and how we can end it. And that again, May 11th, free to register. Everybody go to our website. We'll link you to all the information, abc4.com slash gtu. Dr. Tanya Bowles, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Important us. information. Up next, I don't know if you could hear the kitty meowing while we're talking. <laughs> it's our pet of the week when we come back. Mm -hmm.